it looks as though there may very well be another Chinese experiment headed to the International Space Station before the year is out. That's the word from Jeff Manber, the CEO of NanoRax, a private company that considers itself the concierge to the cosmos. We're talking not only with Beijing Institute to do another project, we're talking to other organizations, uh, and I think that uh, in the next six months we'll be able to do some follow-ups. Lift off. It took NanoRacks several years to make it onto the ISS. In June, a SpaceX rocket carried a DNA experiment from researchers at the Beijing Institute of Technology to the International Space Station. No small accomplishment, considering there is a federal law that bans NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, from working with the Chinese. This is the places where we've had customers. NanoRax is cooperating with 30 countries, including China. The company's CEO points out there is no law keeping China from working with a private U.S. space firm, a process made easier considering Nanorax has its own hardware aboard the ISS. We own the platform, uh, and so it's not NASA directly working with the Chinese. Uh, we worked very hard to uh, handle the concerns of some in Congress that there be no technology transfer. Manber is well-placed to navigate Nanorax through the complex maze of bureaucracy and U.S. government red tape. For nearly a decade, he worked for Russia, marketing the old Mir space station to clients. Soon, Nanorax will have its own private airlock on the International Space Station, giving it even more access. Before private enterprise invested in space travel, Member says it could cost at least a million dollars to get your experiment on the International Space Station. Today, Nanorax can do the job for as little as $15,000. Sean Calebs, CGTN in Washington.